And finally, y'all can smell the aroma up in here. Straight up, my wife was like, mm, that is the smell of flavor. Hi, Taki, $5 meats are back, which means, yes, thank you. Bargain for us. These are Thai pork meatballs. I am going to turn this into a yummy curry. As you can see behind me, it's a, been a rainy, bloody week, so another night of curry, you can't go wrong. I'm also making some more sambal for my darling. Mind the mess, because that is just how it is when you make sambal, but straight up, the mess is worth it. Same as the mess that comes out your ass the next day, it's called a cleanse. In our curry, we have got capsicum, some onion, some diced pumpkin and garlic. These um, things, I don't really know what they are. These are uh, these green things that was in the curry that I was just saying. Does anybody know what they are? Because I don't. But these are what they look like. And apparently you can just like dice them up and chuck them into a stir fry or whatever. So it'll be interesting to see how they go inside a curry. And of course the rice. Got to have rice with curry. I am cutting these meatballs into three before I chuck it into the air fryer. And then once they crisp up in the air fryer, they will be going into the curry sauce. It makes a small serving of meat um, go a long way, if you know what I mean. I have definitely converted my wife um, to Asian. You know, all about that Asian, Asian everything. And of course, kirimi coconutty from the warehouse. Furnished off with coriander. As our garnish, can never have too much coriander. We love coriander. That is our Thai meatball curry served with rice and a little bit of salad there and homemade sambal. Oh shit, sis! That's what my wife just said. As we watch the coronation history in the making. Hello. Dinner and bed. Yeah, move. I'm eating. Food it. <laughs>